Hello my marvellous sausages, and here we are doing another Legend Lost Sector, and it's called the Sepulchre. And this baby is in the uh, fluorescent canal here on the lovely throne world. This is a really good one to do, and it's actually not that difficult, and it's pretty quick as well, so this is a good one to farm. But what also you can get if you do this, if you go and look at your triumphs, uh, we're all after completing this one uh, here, if we go to exploration, and then we've got world champions, you can defeat champions in here you can be be able to get those champions done and get this triumph done as well so you're going to be working your way through that as well which is very very handy now then let's have a little look at the lost sector itself so what have we got we've got barrier champions good old barry servitors even though there's no barry servitors in it uh, we've got Unstoppable, we've got a Solar Burn, we've got Arc Shield, Solar Shields, and Fire Pit as well. So here is my build, what I'm using to kick arse. So you don't really need to match your subclass to the burn, it's a Solar Burn, because, well, I'm running my vo my Void, my Void Walker. Uh, so basically all I've got in here really is I've got me uh, Feed the Void, and I've got Child of the Old Gods, and I've got Echo of Expulsion for Explode Gits, I've got uh, Echo of Persistence for Buffs to be extended, lingering grenade effects, increased duration, and we've also got health regeneration as well for the echo of leeching there. Well, you know, that's quite handy to have, isn't it? But of course, whatever you're using, if you're using your Titan or if you're using your Hunter, just run your strengths as your Hunter run your invisibility runs, and when you're a Titan, use that Bulwark finisher. Not a Bulwark finisher, what's it called? The Bulwark Overshield one. I can't remember what it's bloody called. Well, anyway, you will find it a piece of piddle. Right, let's go and have a look at weapons. So, obviously, my weapon you've got to pick them according to what champions we've got. So we've got Unstoppables and we've got uh, Anti-Barrier. So I've got the Unstoppable Pulse I've decided to stick in here, which I'm using in my old Ogma on C PR6, which is excellent. And then I'm also using Arbalist as well for the Anti-Barrier champions. The Ogma is a solar pulse rifle, so uh, that's good for the burn too. Lovely, eh? And then also I'm using uh, my Ascendancy Rocket Launcher because it's a solar burn with explosive light as well. Bloody marvellous. Right, as for um, my exotics, I'm using my Nezarak Sin, and I've got Linear Fusion Ammo Finder and Rocket Launcher Ammo Finder in there, and a Melee Well Maker as well, which is very handy. We've seen my arms, but just extra look, I've stuck in your Well of Tenacity, uh, Focus in Strike, and a Strength mod there, because I want wells from punching people in the face. I've gone for the uh, Thermoshock Plating there, doubled up on that, baby. And uh, then I've also gone for Bountiful Wells, to get two wells spewing out, and I've gone for the... Uh, Discipline mod there for my grenades. I've gone for a rocket launcher scavenger, linear fusion rifle scavenger, and another well of tenacity for a bit of resist. And then finally on my bond, I've gone for reaping well maker, and I've gone for energy vampirism. I've gone for perpetuation and strength mod as well. So I'm kind of all focused, really, getting my abilities up to scratch. So then, all that's left is to do a bloody walkthrough of it. So let's sod off in, eh? So here we are, first bit. Now uh, we've got a couple of turds hiding down here and this one is arc shielded this night so we'll take him out with our arbalist which is excellent and uh, we'll kill that echo shite there and this one here and this one there as well with our solar bolarks bloody moths everywhere this time as well look at the sodding sods there we are that's great right this first room ain't too bad at all i would recommend rather than sort of jumping from cover to cover up here you want to go up here because you're protected from the wizard who's lobbing constant stuff at you and then we can take out the uh, anti-barrier lobber grenade down keep those guys busy let him pop his clogs and then he'll actually pop his clogs one two come on three four and run more flag ah flinch there we are he's gone excellent Right, let's just start picking off these gick gicks. <laughs> Dicks. So, <laughs> we're going to have lots more acolytes coming flooding out here. So, we'll just be able to take them off. And you can see, look, that wizard can't do sod all to me here. I'm just picking out the field. Uh, and, uh, you know, making an easy time of it, really. Yes. Uh, goodbye, Akko Shite there. Grenades back up again. You guys can have a bit of void death. Pick them off there. Shoot the mothses. And we're not far off completing this room. Uh, just kill that Akko Shiper there. And then all I'm going to do is uh, one, two, three, and boom. Solar rocket launcher. That'll cause the uh, Lucent Hive Bearer type idiot or whatever he's called. Lucent Light Bearer or whatever they are. To turn up. So, you know, you can have some of that and a bit more of that as well. There we go. All done. Don't forget, squeezy ghosty. Otherwise, the swine will reappear. There we go. That's room number one cleared out. Nice and simple pimple that. Right. So, next... 
down this way here. Now, this is what I'd recommend. We've got an Akoshite here and another Akoshite, and there's a barrier champion. It's worth trying to kill him in the corridor here. Oh, he's already sodded off. Look, the coward. Did you see him run down there? If you get an opportunity, kill him in the corridor here. Uh, because otherwise he goes into the room here with this bunch of tosses. So we've got here, uh, we've got anti-barrier, we've got unstoppable ogre. They're just coming in there now. Oh, look, got a bit of time. Maybe I can just take him out to stop any more problems. No, there we are. See, right, you need to run off to the right here to give yourself a breather. This little corridor here is excellent for, uh, well, you know, not dying very quickly. Going to get loads of thrall. We're going to get, uh, well, we, all, we already know we've got that uh, anti-barrier idiot. And then we've got two ogres, one of which is unstoppable. Yes. Shove off, thrall ass face. Let's have some of that in there. And, uh, well, while he's dying, we'll make him die some more. Mwah! Excellent. Right, so we're going to have uh, unstoppable trousers marching towards us soon. Oh, look, he's coming up the back way. I do see his shadow on the wall then. Hilarious. Hello. I think, you know, what might be good here is just to do this. Because it's a lot easier, isn't it, than, you know... <laughs> I love a bit of super in the face. There's our friend, the barrier knight. Or the barrier shite. They are, he's staggered. And he's down. Excellent. There we go. We can duck back in for a bit of cover. No need to run around panicking, screaming in these lost sectors, you know. Uh, Reverend Akko shite can be killed but there. So what we've got in here as well is one of those uh, loosened hive bearer idiots. And it's the solar bloke like a hunter I suppose you know the one who chucks his knives at you he's very dangerous and what's annoying about him is that uh, he dodges your rockets quite a bit but they're not that tough really I don't suppose oh let's have a bit of that look well, hey there we are excellent bit of a uh, bit of motage there did you see him then trying to kill me with his stuff ouch he's gonna kill me some more let's go back around here and hide and don't forget to pop yourself a well Go away, you ass! A rift, I mean. Someone's shooting me from the rear. Don't know who that is. Oh, he didn't dodge that time. That was nice of him. Let's give him a bit of arbalist. Hey! Let's go and squeeze his zit. Ouch! There we are, that's good. There we are. So, that's the worst bit of this room. We've only got one room left then. Uh, so, it's not too bad, is it? Because there's some nice places to hide and give yourself a bit of respite. Ha 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 ha. Sod off. Well, let's just do this to him. Oh no. Oh, that's alright. I thought there was uh, only him left. But there's one more. But if there's only one, we can manage. He's going to kill me or something now. There we are. Excellent. Attacked by moths. Good stuff. Okay. There we are. Room is clean. Let's go to the last room where we've got a big fat bloke. You know, a massive knight. Uh, spiders! A massive knight, and we've also got a Barry champion here as well. What I like about this is, uh, by the time you get in here, you're going to find that all, all your uh, abilities are charged. And there's loads of thrall and stuff sitting around on the floor. So I like to chuck a grenade at the back end there, and then do a bit of... Look at it! Well, hey! Ooh, I love a bit of... Uh, chain reaction don't you not the film with keanu reeves never seen that actually anyway i'm watching speed tonight i bloody love that film it's great time for a couple of beers and watch keanu reeves and sandra bullock drive a bus very fast and slow at the same time oh dear it's because i'm talking about speed i'm gonna die that's my own fault anyway didn't do too badly. Eight revives, five minutes. See, it's not too bad. This is the last room. So, I think what we'll do here is uh, we'll just go in now. Sydney all guns blazing and his musical guns. <laughs> That's something that popped into my mind from college. There we go. He's dead. Old Tetley Barristrade in whatever his name is. Oh, my God. That was such a cop-out. I hope he dies horribly. I'm going to make sure he dies horribly. Let's run in and kill him. I should have arbalisted him because he's got a bloody arc shield. Look at him there. Shoot him in the arse. Head. Arse. Head. Head. Pop that shield. There we go. And let's just uh, finish him off with that. Lovely. And then it's just your general gits. So, you know, let's... Uh, oh, I don't know. Should we do... Have a bit of that for you. Hooray! <laughs> You're gone, Zod. You're gone, Zod, as well. One more here somewhere. Revenant Akoshites. 
Ooh, there's loads of them here. Look at that then. Ooh, last ditch attempt to kick my face in. It's not going to work, you bastards. Have that. Uh, you can have this. I'll just pick them off then with this. They're all injured. Gravely injured, yes. A few of them are injured. I'm going to be killed by a moth. No, I'm not going to shoot the moth. Ha ha ha. And at last, Echo Shite. There we go. Excellent stuff. Now, I've run this twice already, and I've had one exotic already. I had an Apophis Veil helmet. Let's see what I get now. Ooh, I've had an enhancement kill and a Palmyra B. But anyway, look, seven minutes for the total run, and that's with me jibber-jabbering and stuff like that. So it's not too bad, nice and fast to do, really. Plus, of course, you've got the added advantage of you finishing off that triumph as well. So it's well worth piling in and having a go of that this weekend. And don't forget, if you like the vids, give me a like and subscribe. That would be fantastic. And also, leave me a comment as well and let me know how hard you found it. Ooh, uh, thank you so much for watching, and I shall speak to you all again very soon. Sausage. Oot.